been buffering. Oh, we're live. We're on. Cool. Cool, cool. Uh, no, this is not a test for those of you who are not on right now and not live checking it out. But uh, it's just me and Nick. It is. Yeah. And I'm in the captain's chair. This is the first time I've ever sat. That's true. In this spot. It's not a bad seat. It's, it's actually pretty nice. You can kind of right see on. everything. Yeah. 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 See everybody oh, in there. Someone's come in. Two other people joined. Thank nice. you. Hello. Hello. How's What's it going? What's happening? I got to open up here so, so I can, can follow along and read the things. You just, you finally started Game of Thrones. I did. I he know. You finally I started. started Game of Thrones. I'm in season three. What is that? Hello from Nigeria. Hey, what's hello, happening? Hello. You win the contest for the most long distance. Uh... It has to be. <laughs> most long distance yeah. uh, or the big, uh, longest distance fan, I would think. Yeah. That's awesome. Thank you for joining. We still got snow here. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming the weather's much better there. <laughs> yeah, I would think so too. Arturo's in. We got seven nice. other people joining us. Vasquez, we are doing well, man. How are you? Awesome. Let us know. It's two in the morning. Fishstick one twenty-two. Two in the morning. Where Crazy. in Nigeria? Uh, I believe so. I'm looking back. I'm trying to find out where it is. Maybe. Let us know where you are for two in the morning. Fishstick. Game of Thrones is awesome. It's a good show. So far, so good. He's finally got on board. When we did, you know there's dragons. When we there's first dragons. when we first started the show, we were filming over on this corner, and yeah. I kept wanting to bring up Game of Thrones stuff, but you hadn't seen it. No. And it was really hard, and I kept telling you to watch it. So, how far of Game of Thrones are you? Season three, okay. episode four or five. Wow. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, it went it went pretty quick because we just Dude. started like a couple of weeks ago. So we watch a few episodes a night, and then. Dude. Yeah. yeah. It's That's pretty good. so crazy. Britain. Britain, it's 2 o'clock in the morning. Oh. Hello, hello, Mr. Cheers. That is, again, that's Fishstick122. Thank you for joining. Kaysen Howard. Hello. How you doing, man? What's happening? Um, yeah, not a whole hell of a lot of news. Cameron Diaz has said that she's going to quit acting. I thought she quit like eight, nine years ago. I apparently. thought she quit after the mask. That's what I, I thought too. Uh, I Actually, would, something about Mary too. She was pretty good. I will give her something yeah. about Mary. Yeah. Uh, even the first Charlie's Angels, I will give her yeah. that. But That's that fair. was more of an ensemble piece. Yeah. Um, Donald Glover, a.k.a. Childish Gambino, he did that album right over there. He's done a lot. He's been on Community and stuff like that. He was doing a Deadpool show for FX. That's cancelled. And he's oh. not the biggest fan of Marvel because of it. Uh, hmm. So, which is really interesting. Mark Hamill apparently said, there's too much Star Wars. Agreed. Duh. Duh. I mean, we love... Yeah. We love us some Star Wars, but... Yeah. I still can't wait for the origin story for Jabba the Hutt. Jesus. That's gonna be awesome. <laughs> Uh, Arturo Music Man, great to see you too, man. I hope you're doing even better than we are so far. I think we're doing okay. Yeah. It's just the two of us. Blake Frapp has said, where is Anthony? Anthony has uh, some stuff that he has to do. We're just going to start waving when we see the waves. Anthony retired. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anthony retired from the live show. We broke him. Yeah. yeah. But uh, no, Anthony's got some stuff to do, so he just told us to hold it down for the next 45 minutes for this for this week. He'll be back next week. We're gonna there's some scheduling stuff going on next week because our Easter is next week. That's right. While everybody else's Easter is now. Yeah. So happy Good uh, Friday. Happy, happy Good Easter Friday, to everybody who is celebrating. Absolutely. Yeah. So I hope you have a wonderful Easter. Thank you for joining us on this Good Friday for you guys. Uh, where did the other boy go? There's usually three of you guys. That is <laughs> yeah. correct. Yeah. Again, so uh, good yeah. math. <laughs> Anthony's gone. I'm kind of reading this as we go. Thank okay. God he retired from Blake Frapp. <laughs> oh, Blake, well done, buddy. Thanks. thanks I miss man. you, man. Have you listened to We Beefing yet? I have. I don't care for it, but it's funny. It's like a rap song with, like, I can believe it was Wendy's. I heard it right after last week, so I don't remember a lot of it. Okay. It's kind of like, I, I think it's a parody rap, but yeah, jeez. <laughs> Uh, oh, Jesus. Uh, K.F underscore is underscore awesome. My grandpa needs two more brain surgeries because he has a brain tumor. Dude, oh. uh, I wish all the best for your grandpa. I hope he gets yeah. through that. That is rough. I hope you and your family are doing okay. Yeah. Uh, the rest of your family, of course. Um, but yeah, too much Star Wars. Not surprising. Uh, no, and I mean, I think we kind of knew that was going to happen once Disney took over. Although... I do want to go to Disney World and check out the Star Wars area. Like, I think that okay, would that's be different. pretty like, amazing. To actually experience yeah. that yeah. versus having to anticipate and go through so many movies all the time. Is It is open now, right? The it, area it, I is I believe open. so. Ooh, yeah. okay. D. Cunos. Hey. Uh, those of you in the chat, D. Cunos, he knows his stuff. Mark Hamill said there's too much Star Wars. We agree with him. What do you think, Cunos? <laughs> Let us know. 
Uh, the Calm Shack joined. Oblong Grok joined. Thank you for joining. Oblong Jer- Grok. <laughs> Jeremy Smith 1020 joined. Thank you. Uh, Josh dot underscore 72 joined. Elato 29 joined. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, what are you guys' thoughts on the new mutants doing reshoots? Oh, okay. D Cunos first. Yes, way too much now. Of course. Yeah. I mean, and it's not just because Mark Hamill said it, it's just because there's so much. <laughs> yeah. No, you're looking good and we can't even see you. <laughs> um, Arturo Mus- Music Man, what are your thoughts on New Mutants doing reshoots? Okay, so New Mutants and Phoenix have been pushed back. New Mutants is going through reshoots. Reshoots are iffy. Um, do you know much of when it comes to reshoots? Not really. Okay. They schedule reshoots to happen. So when they have their whole production thing, we've got, okay, we've got pre-production, we're shooting, we got post, and then they set aside stuff for reshoots. However, they're pushing back a lot of the slate for Fox, and I don't know if it has to do with the acquisition that Marvel has. I did read a little bit on it, but nothing too you know solid to really give a big opinion. But I do know reshoots are a part of things. It, but it doesn't look too good. So for you on a business standpoint, when you have to go back in, and you've already you've already established this, but not only is your project getting pushed back, but you also have to redo a lot of the stuff, would that be cause for concern for you? Uh, depending. Like, it's one of two things. It's either, like, they wanted to upgrade something or they didn't like the visual in the in the movie. Yeah. Or in the in the show, I should say. Yeah. Or, like, it's, it's either an upgrade or they're just totally changing the plot and they realize, mm-hmm. like, okay, we have to go a different direction. So I'm not sure why the reshoot is happening. Yeah. Um, I'm assuming I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt and say that they want to, you know, do some kind of an upgrade to the look. Maybe they don't like the way the direction was. Yeah. Um, but what I do know is, yeah, yeah, like time is money so you're obviously going to be spending uh you're going to be pushing things back you're going to mm-hmm. be spending more money doing mm-hmm. the reshoots more time for editing um and if it is a bigger undertaking like changing like the storyline or the lines or something like that well now it's your fear is that it's going to be fragmented when you have the final product because obviously they're not reshooting the whole thing so if there's a certain portion of it that they had to change my concern would be that the rest of the movie the Mr. show flows really well, but that one aspect where they changed, you could tell was a reshoot. Maybe there is something in there that just doesn't sit right. That's because I've seen that happen with movies before, yeah. well, movies and TV shows. Justice League, Justice too, League, uh, but they the even stupid changed, mustache. They, yeah, the the mustache, and they changed directors. Then we had uh, Suicide Squad that had the reshoots as well, which apparently yeah. a lot of it was taken out of David Ayer's hands, and it was given to the guys that made the trailer, which is why it came out like a music video, yeah. like an oversaturated, over crazy music video. So. What is the time frame between when they wrapped production and when they did the reshoots? I think it depends. It's, uh, some movies like for this for the mutant one do you know like, again it's been pushed back I'm not 100% yeah. sure um, Kaiser Soze 1986 welcome back hey. uh, Leito 29 have you seen Ready Player One can you give us a quick non-spoiler review Anthony and I saw it I last night it. our non-spoiler review is on the F word YouTube channel so we got a non-spoiler review there me and Anthony go through it it's awesome it's so much fun it's so good it's a nostalgic kick in the balls and it's so good um, the com shack what do you guys think about the dark Venus X-Men suits their suits I mean I haven't seen them yeah I saw them it's the same thing where people were saying like what do you think of Brie Larson's I'm like well there's CGI and there's all sorts of stuff that are gonna come into them I think they're you know they're close sir I guess um, the Com Shack, have you guys heard anything about the Teen Titans live action series lately? I have not. Nope. Uh, Joel Gonzo 3, who do you think would make a good new Wolverine in the MCU? Okay, great question. Arturo, I want to ask you about the, um, the remakes, but who do you think would make a good Wolverine? And everybody else out there, let us know right now who you think so we can get some names going on, uh, on your top choice for Wolverine. I, I don't know. Not sure? I'm not sure. Like, Thinking I can't of, think like, off the top of my head. actors from different stuff? Even just, like, a character from a certain movie or something like that? You know, like... Don't I, say Jon Snow. I don't think it'll work No, no, well. I don't think it'll... No, not Jon Snow. He's not going <laughs> I don't know. Like, uh, truthfully, I don't know who would make a, a good Wolverine because I'm, like, you You look at, you know... Um, his name totally... Is. From where? The, the actor who played him before. Oh, Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I had a mind fart. Uh, just sort of think of him as a huge, huge Jack Jackman. Man. Yeah, I think he played the character so well. It's just hard to put anybody else in that in that role, right? Yeah. Like, not to say that nobody else is capable of doing it, but you know, for for the longest time, it was him, right? It's like 
it's like asking who would you have to play um, Luke Skywalker if they did like a backstory, right? Like, right. I mean, it's like if, well, if, if they weren't even younger than Mark Hamill was yeah, when he was there. Like, yeah, it's a tough one to, to hey, kind of go with. Yeah, and um, there is a gentleman by the name of John Camp. <laughs> but about you, really, I think Vasily Van Doros would be fantastic. <laughs> as well. I think so too. Agreed. Agreed. Um, Those luscious locks. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what I think. Okay, so I'm just gonna before I get to that. I heard they're doing reshoots to make the movie scarier. It does look horror, like the new mutants. The way that they've designed it is kind of like this cool kind of horror style show uh, or movie. Yeah, movie. Yeah. Um, sorry, I'm blanking. Um, so I think that's cinema. It, it, if it's to make it scarier, that's tough because it, unless it organically happens, a lot of the scary stuff that they do are kind of end up being just jump scares and making things just darker by nature and forcing the horror, which doesn't always work. It seems like that's what they're doing with all like a lot of them now. It's like they, they they're have really that pushing aspect. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm not cartoony. sure. Um, there was a photo. Okay, Tom Hardy is not going to happen because he's Venom. We'll see how that goes. Uh, we've got. Uh, Scott Eastwood. There was a picture of Scott Eastwood, Clint Eastwood's son. Mm -hmm. Not the greatest actor, but there someone photoshopped or did a thing to his face to make him look like Wolverine, and it did look pretty good. Okay. I was quite surprised how good it looked. Um, so, but again, I don't think he has the physicality for it. Um, I'm just trying to think. It's a really tough question. I was thinking Taron Egerton before he was the guy that was in um, the Kingsman. Okay. XC. Uh, but he kind of, the more I think about it, the more baby face he looks. So it depends if they go with like a younger version of him, but I don't know if they would, it wouldn't make sense. Cause I mean, he just doesn't have the adamantium. That's what people want to see. So it's, it's a really tough call. Um, I'm going to keep thinking about it. I'm even looking at the poster back here, but I don't, I can't think of anybody off the top of my head that would be able to do it. Yeah. I mean, sorry. Anybody can do it. Yeah. Anybody can do it. It depends on the director. Yeah. Um, yeah, and also, uh, yeah, in what context that was. Uh, John Dot Ludicky. Hello. Hello. Thanks for joining. Um, good day from Australia. Did you hey. hear the rumor about Matt Damon was offered a role in Spider Man Homecoming 2? Uh, really? Yeah, that's from Eletu 29. Uh, I did hear something. I haven't read up on it. I don't think he should, uh, especially if Robert Downey Jr. is still going to be in it. And it, it all depends on what's going to happen after. And the reason I say that is, um, he was in Thor. Oh, he was. That's right. I forgot about that. Spoiler yeah, for yeah, Thor yeah. Ragnarok. Yeah, He's yeah. been out for a while. Yeah. But he cameoed in Thor, playing Loki in the dramatization of that Loki play. <laughs> we're just going to keep waving, by the way, as we're talking. What's up, guys? Uh, but yeah, I heard something. I don't know to what capacity. They might have just been like, hey, do you want to play a superhero role? And he might... I don't know. I don't yeah. know if it'll work. I don't see him as anything like because of that parody. Unless role. he's like the new generation, like the next generation of like the Stan Lee appearance, where he just makes a an appearance in each movie. Oh, you mean like taking? Okay, so turning yeah. him into just a cameo, like as a running joke. Like maybe that's what they're planning on doing. That's like, not the in worst. That, in that idea regard, I would see it as being pretty funny. That's not the worst uh, idea I've ever heard. Yeah. Uh, Vast. You could play Bonesaw. <laughs> Bonesaw is ready. Bonesaw is ready. Uh, Joel Gons03, are you looking forward to The Incredibles 2? Yes. Yeah. So much. So, so much. I think it'll be good. Incredibles 1 was the best Fantastic Four movie we've ever gotten. So, <laughs> uh, Incredibles 2, just, I'm, I'm just ready for it finally because we've had How long has so it been? It's been like for, Dude, it's been a long time. Like I, at I least 15 remember. years. Uh, no, not Hasn't 15. It? No, not 15. Is Incredibles at, come at least 10. Okay. Close to 10. I don't remember when it came um, out. Somebody could check that yeah, out. Let me know. Fact check us on that one. Yeah. Yeah, uh, we've had so many Cars movies. No one cares about Cars. Yeah. We've had that stupid airplane movie. I, I didn't see it. What's I didn't airplane? care. There was an airplane one that was voiced. I think Dane Cook was a voice in it too. That's like oh, one of the few things that actually brought him in. <laughs> yeah. Um, we've had so many other movies. We're almost having a Toy Story 4, I'm pretty sure. Because, yeah, we're only a Toy yeah, Story 3. Yeah, that one's agreed too. Um, but yeah, are you in, excited for Incredibles 2? Let us know. Um, and yeah, pump out some of those names for uh, Wolverines. Because I'm still thinking about one. Because he needs to have... Like, everyone didn't want Hugh Jackman because he was too tall. Because Wolverine is like 5'2", 5, 5'2 5, 5, to 5'4". Yeah. And Hugh Jackman's like six foot something. So everyone's like, no, he's not going to be very good. And obviously, he's a Wolverine, right? 
you know, who would who would play a, a pretty decent one. But unfortunately, his acting's not that great. Yep. But uh, like John Cena, just because he's so ripped, like you know what I mean. Like he I can see might be too big. He might be too big, eh? Yeah. I, I, the only, but man, he'd look like the Rock. Crazy with those. Rock would look pretty badass, but he's just too dark, right? Like it's not like yeah. You know, uh, Luke Evans as Wolverine. He'd have to get insanely buff. That is a good. That is a decent call. I don't know. Like, uh, have you seen? Um, have you seen the new uh, Beauty and the Beast? Yeah. Luke, yeah. The guy That's that plays the, Gaston. Yeah, yeah. Okay. He would be good, but he's got such a particular face that I don't know. Like he's. I don't want to say that he's too handsome and too kind of defined. If that's weird to say. Yeah. It's an interesting choice. Again, I could definitely see him in it. Not wrong, yeah, that's for sure. Uh, Vasquez, 37 underscore 3733. How do you think Quiet Place is going to turn out? Well, it's on, uh, it's doing very well in regards to just on the, um, a pretty Wolverine. Uh, it's doing very well right now in general. People are loving this movie. So John Krasinski, uh, he was from The Office. He was also in that. Oh one. yeah, he's with his wife in this one, right? Yes, yes. exactly. With Emily yeah, yeah. Blunt. Emily yeah. Blunt. Yeah, yeah. And and what turned out was. Um, he <laughs> oh was, my god! I knew a Hollywood fact. Yeah. Look at That's that. That's great. Look at that. He's learning. I'm learning. I'm learning. Uh, he directed it and originally was looking for other actresses, but Emily Blunt looked at it like, "I want to do this." Yeah. And apparently, it's just crushing right now. Uh, so I think, I think it's gonna do okay. Um, a lot of these quieter shows don't do very well. However, we could have another like. A horror movie because it, it is mm -hmm. I, by, by looks of the trailers it's obviously a horror movie um, that might end up shaking things up early on just like Get Out did mm -hmm. which have you seen Get Out yet? I haven't dude I know uh, Game of Thrones baby steps man come on I'm just I'm yeah, only getting that's, on that's fair. Yeah. fair Vasquez underscore three that underscore squeeze he's just changed it uh, <laughs> I'd rather have Luke Evans play Namor hmm Namor so he's kind of a uh, if I remember correctly, I'm not a big, a, as big of a comic book as you think, um, but he is a villain kind of to Aquaman, and he's a very prominent like guy against Aquaman, okay. and he's a pretty badass character from what I've read on like Wikipedia and stuff What's like that. Namor? Uh, yeah, uh, like De Roman Cunos, backwards. Uh, <laughs> Roman backwards. Yeah, yeah Namor. Yeah, okay. Decunios could totally see Evans as Namor. We've got Vasquez and Decunios pulling Agreed. it in. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm still trying to go through actors that haven't already been in these superhero roles because a lot of them, like, it's, I mean, it's really tough when you're casting something, right? Yeah. Um, Ma Manor is an, Namor is an Atlantean, but he acts like Spock. Okay, mm. that makes sense. Good to know. There you go. Thank you. So a really good a juxtaposition with, uh, with Aquaman himself, which I still think to this day, even though... I don't mind him. I wish um, Jason Momoa was uh, Lobo. I've said this on the show before. I think he would have been an amazing Lobo. That's my only regret. And then it's like, who would play the Atlantean? Who would play... Um, who would play... Uh, what's his face? I'm blanking on every name now. I, I'm not in your train of thought right now. No, that's so okay. No. Batman, yeah. Aqu Aquaman. 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 Yeah. Jesus. Aqua. Oh, okay. Like, not the band. Yeah. Not the pop group. Um, Barbie girl. Barbie gore. Barbie girl. 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 Um, I think that'd be pretty cool. Uh, Drake, the guy from Graham. Thanks for joining in. Toby Maguire as Wolverine <laughs> from T. Cunos. Well, at least no one can say You'd have he's to bulk not, up. <laughs> he's, he, he's not age appropriate because everyone, like the only argument against the Toby Maguire one is that he's too old. So it's kind of that. Um, the guy that played Dracula and told I could see playing Namor. So Vasquez is pulling it in with, uh, with the switch from uh, Luke Evans to the Namor. We're getting some people agreeing here. Uh, Toby would honestly be the perfect Wolverine from Vasquez. Are you sure? Andrew Garfield as Dr. Octopus. That I could kind of see. Well, only because it'd be funny. Because he played Spider-Man. Because he played Spider-Man, <laughs> yeah. so to have him play Dr. Octopus, I think would just be hilarious, kind of yeah. like the Matt Damon thing where they throw him in everywhere. Yeah. Um, we saw the, last night when we were watching Ready Player One, they had the trailer for Mission Impossible Fallout, 
looks super crazy, and Tom Cruise really needs to watch when he's driving because that dude ran into so many things on the road, <laughs> and I don't know how he's not dead yet. Yeah, Ethan Hawke. He's old. He's, he's gonna die. He's getting old. He's getting really he's getting old. old. But that the the big stunt, the helicopter stunt, looks pretty crazy. Really? I'm I'm really really curious as to how that's gonna play out. It looks really good. Uh, I'm almost thinking. Um, what about the guy who played the comedian? What if? Oh, the comedian. Oh, um, the guy who's in Negan. Um, not Javier Bardem, but he's like his uh, his doppelganger. Nope, <laughs> don't know. He was uh, he was in the he was in the Watchmen. Not Tom Tom Cruise where Tom Cruise broke his ankle. There, yeah, there was a clip where he broke his ankle. Yeah. I don't know how many things Tom Cruise has. And broken. he kept running. And he kept going. Dude is is tough. He if anything as crazy Wonky as, as he, he is, is. Yeah. Dean. Dean. Yeah, that's the Dean something. Um, Jeffrey Dean. Jeffrey Dean Morgan. Thank you, D. Cunos. Jeffrey yeah. Dean Morgan. He's in uh, Walking Dead right now. He's Negan. Uh, he was in The Watchmen. He's been in a lot of things. He's actually he's a really good actor. Um, I could see him. I think he's almost too snarky. But, I mean, that might play off with the uh, with the thing, with the, with the rest of the cast. Yeah. The only tough... The only thing when it comes to casting Wolverine is because the... The, the X-Men now are young. Like, they're the younger X-Men. So... It's really difficult to, to have somebody that looks so much older than everybody else. Because even with that first Wolverine, I don't know if anybody else can agree. I don't know if you remember the first, the very first X Men. Kind of, whatever. kind of. Yeah, he, he still a while. like maybe because of the way the the story was, but he still worked with um, Cyclops and 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 Famke Jensen as Jean Grey. Like they still looked like they they were this they were of roughly the, the same, same age, age. Yeah. And, and they kind of worked really well. You know, whereas opposed to the other ones, with them being that young, it will definitely be a massive difference, right? But for sure. It'll be interesting which way they go. So, right now, you just starting off into season three of Game of Thrones. What do you think? It's it's cool. Like, it, you know, there's a lot of different characters to kind of keep track of, like the different areas, like, you know, Winterfell and Karth and, and all those, you know, whatever. Like, there's just so many different aspects that, you, you know, like you're trying to get figure out who everybody is yeah. you're like okay who is this guy why is he torturing him again where do i know him from oh yeah he's a brother that like jamie lannister like yeah, yeah, yeah. or whatever right so um yeah it, it's pretty cool though like i mean i i could see what all the hype is about it, it is a good it, it's a good show it's like it keeps intensive. you engaged yeah um, I was pretty upset about Ned Stark. <laughs> I, I was like, what? Why would you do that? He's so I can't cool. believe you never messaged yeah. me when that happened. Yeah, I was like, oh, huh? Like, yeah. He's... But apparently, like, dude, what is the one, like, I heard about this because I don't know what, what season it is. I think, is it at the end of season three or end of season four where, like, everybody gets killed? Uh, there's a, the, the, thing like with a Game of, the thing with Game of Thrones is that everybody's expendable. Yeah. For the most part, especially early on. Okay. So, um, every I think season four and season five, if I remember, I have to go back and, and look at them. But there's a lot of stuff that goes down, and I I remember the video where the, the reaction videos where like it was oh, like the one scene. Season, is that, yeah. Is that uh, season you three? Might, you might be talking about uh, Red Wedding, which I believe yes. is what uh, Vasquez refers to with episode nine of season three on Game of Thrones. Okay. Because um, I remember the reaction videos and I was like, oh my yeah. God. And then there's like people just bawling. So I'm like, okay, I might have to see this part. But yeah. But, uh, Christine has no idea about this. Nothing. Hey. Nothing. You, she, 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 hasn't, she hasn't been watching it with you? you no, know, she oh, has been. Oh, okay. But she doesn't know about this red wedding scene. Like I, I You I'm don't dying. know about the red wedding yeah. scene, okay? So, I'm just going to tell you yeah, right now. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to go back and read some of the stuff. Okay, do you understand why in the new Thor movie he is the god of lightning, but yet he gets electrocuted? Um, that is actually him harnessing the power. It's not like he gets electrocuted, is that he's drawing in that power. When he was joking around saying he's calling him Sparkles, you saw it first before Kate Blanchett when Hella shows up and he's getting really mad and he's starting to get that and the clouds are getting dark. It's all of that combined together. That is actually his power of bringing in the lightning physically himself, not with Mjolnir or Meow Meow as they call it. Um, K underscore F or K dot F is awesome. I have almost a complete 
I have almost a complete Game of Thrones series. Awesome. Nice. Can I borrow seasons four through whatever is left? Four through whatever. <laughs> Seven. Um, Jimmy Buffett as Wolverine from Joel Gonzo 3. Yep. Uh, rest in peace, Ned Stark. Yeah. Blue, like, blew you, you did not see it coming. No, you? That's I what was the, like, that's somebody's going to save him. Uh, Scarlet.memes. Boys, Anthony said in five hours, it's not ten yet. It's not ten yet. Probably in terms of when this was going down, maybe. I don't know. Okay. Uh, D. Cunos, I 100% agree with you. Nick will need a whiteboard and a massive bubble chart going to keep track of everything. <laughs> yeah. My recommendation to him was just talk about it as much as he can. Like a the, therapy session? Well, because the more you... Like, for me, when I first started watching it, and I got into it late. So he yeah. got into it, you know, really later late. than I did, but I got into it late as well. Yeah. But the thing with that is... I had to talk to people about it to remember a lot of the stuff. And in fact, I need to get into like a big group Game of Thrones session just to... Just if, if someone was talking about the earlier seasons, there's people I forget. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to pretend like I know everybody. So you yeah. might even bring up stuff like, I've got to remember that, dude. The um, dad Lannister, like the older Lannister, like the go- the grandfather. Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't know his name, but he was... I don't know if you guys remember him. This is totally dating me. But in the 80s, there was a movie called uh, The Golden Child. That's the bad guy from The Golden Child. I was like, where Charles do I know Dance. him from? Where do, what? Charles Dance. Is that his name? Okay, yeah. You're talking about like, their dad, right? Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. First introduction, skinning a horse is yeah, the best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was yeah, like, holy, um, it's the bad guy from like oh, man, he's, Golden he's Child. Oh man, he's so good. I, 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 I want the knife. Sorry. Is that what he says? No, that's what Eddie Murphy <laughs> says. He has to like spin this thing, but yeah. Scarlet memes. Anthony told me the live was in five hours, dude. It's not ten. What happened? How late am I? Well, uh, we've never done it at 10 o'clock. It might be 10 o'clock your time, though, so I don't know where exactly you are. Yeah. Um, we apologize for that, but thanks for joining us. You, Tom you're, we're at about, what, 15 minutes in? 20? Something, uh, yeah, we're in about, uh, no, we're about 20, 25 20 minutes, minutes in. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the Com Shack. I'm eager to see Ghost and Ant-Man and the Wasp. Yes, so am I. Hmm. So, Ghost is kind of interesting, and the reason it's even more interesting is um, it, it's really interesting because... Ghost is his outfit, her outfit. It's actually female in the comics. It's a guy, and it's actually an Iron Man villain, not an Ant Man or the Wasp villain. They're introducing, and the suit can actually like move into things, and it's, it's like the ultimate hacker. That's what Ghost Hulk is. Okay. So it'll be really interesting to see, especially because it's after Infinity War. We don't know what the timeline's going to be. They might mess up with the timeline. I don't think they're going to go directly from Infinity War and have something in Ant-Man and the Wasp because I would imagine that between Infinity War and Avengers 4, depending on what happens, there's going to be some messed up stuff in the world. So it's not like these guys are like, oh, we're just going to do our own thing right now. But who knows? It might be one of those cases where, you know, after the fall of the Avengers, like the, or after the first Avengers, people were capitalizing on the destruction that happened. So this might be another case. I'm not sure. Uh, Scarlet memes. Nick, calm down. Give G a chance to talk. I know you are not in the corner anymore, and people can see you. He's actually. I'm barely here. talking. He's alive. No, I actually am the one that has to calm down. <laughs> I talk too much and too fast. Uh, K KF is awesome, but I was talking about when he has the taser thing stuck in his neck, and they would electrocute him. Oh, okay. Mm. I think. <clears throat> I think that's more because it's like a man-made device that just shocks people, and he hadn't harnessed his power yet. I don't and like he was just sparkles at that point really um that could be a continuity thing that they never actually could thought just, of it could be or it just could be something that they put in on purpose and they were just like yeah it's like something to control them and, and i never noticed that things. but you're right like, i never thought of it until yeah. now so good call man and like bullets and stuff normally like wouldn't yeah. hurt them so why would the taser maybe be just because a taser is shitty <laughs> um KF is awesome. I just saw Black Panther last week. It was amazing. Yes. Oh, it great is movie. Very, very, very good. Yeah. And it's just making so much money. Yeah. It's good for them. So well much deserved. Money. Absolutely. Well deserved. Even the fact that Kevin Feige turns to Ryan Coogler and he's like, we made the best movie. Like, this is the yeah. best movie we've ever made. It's like, that's pretty mad props to say. Did you see that um, on uh, The Tonight Show, Jimmy Fallon had the main character from Black Panther and they, they were. Chadwick Boseman? Yeah, they were talking in front of uh, like a poster and they were like, um, almost like recording a message and it was like all these people who had watched and they're like it was such an inspirational movie and da 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 dude. and then he comes out right and like oh man dude, just the reactions that, that people had so crazy yeah and the biggest thing about it is not so much the marketing uh, like leading towards the movie it's actually the marketing during and after, after. the movie release yeah 
because leading up nuts. to the movie, it wasn't as much of a hype. I thought, like, it, like although it yeah, was a it was, mixture. It yep. was, yeah, like I, I thought it was really kind of like subdued compared to other movies that came out. Yep. And then, and I don't know if they did it on purpose, but if they did. All right. I don't know how much time we've been going. Uh, that was 11, 10, 10, 20, half an hour. What time is it now? 8.03. 8.03. What time do we start? 7.30? Around there. Okay, so we got some time. Um, so right now, Game of Thrones is this. Game of Thrones, even though it's... Oh, sorry. Joel Gons. Number five, Doctor Strange. Number four, Doctor Strange. Three, Doctor Strange. Two, <laughs> three. Well, I, I think. I think he likes Doctor Strange. I think Strange? he likes Doctor Strange. Oh, Hey man, Doctor Strange was awesome. It was pretty good. Uh, actually, really liked Incredible Hulk. Also, kind of underrated in my opinion. I'm gonna agree with you. I liked it uh, quite a bit. I'm not gonna lie to you. The one with Edward Norton was. I don't know why people were giving it shit. I liked it. Um, what we got here? Hello, hello. Um, oh, <coughs> I've heard they might bring Moon Knight in the MCU. Okay, Moon Knight is, I would say out of, okay, Moon Knight is more on the Defenders level, okay. and uh, he is like Batman, ultimately. Okay. Um, he's got a suit, he's got a cape, he's got, uh, he, he throws discs too? and stuff. Uh, if I remember correctly, I don't, I'm not really up to date with my um, uh, with my lore of Moon Knight. Stephen DeKnight, that did the first season, he was a showrunner for the first season of um, Daredevil season one, which I, is my favorite. Yeah. He was the showrunner for Spartacus, if anyone's ever seen Spartacus on Stars, give give that give it some love. It's so cheesy in a lot of ways, but I adore it so much. And he has kind of expressed interest in doing Moon Knight, which would be really cool because it would fit in the Defenders, but I think it'd be really cool bringing the Marvel's version of Batman into it. I don't think he'd be in the full MCU in total because he might not fit with the grand scheme of things, but you know, I could be wrong. Uh, KF is awesome. Changes number five, Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, instead of Logan. So switching oh, up. Okay. D. Cunos, top five. Number one, Winter Soldier. Nice. Number two, Iron Man, the first one. Nice. Three, Ragnarok. Oh, dude, that's so awesome you said that. <laughs> Four, Strange, and five, Homecoming. Nice. Oh, yeah. Hey, man. Uh, oh, Nick out of the corner. Oh, he changed his name. Nick out of the corner. Oh, oh this I forgot who you were. Yeah, Sorry, okay. man. He's the guy that changes his name every single time. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, are you ready for Nick out of the corner? Yeah. Number one, Bang Bros. Number two, Bang Bros. <laughs> Number two, Bang Bros. Uh, all right. Uh, Will Kato 13, are you not entertained? That's my question to you. If yeah. you're not entertained, let me know why. Yeah. Arturo Music Man. Number one, Iron Man, the first. Mm -hmm. Number two, Civil War. Number three, Winter Soldier. Number four, Ragnarok. And number five, Guardians 1. Black Panther's not in the top five for him. Hey, man. That, that's cool. No, uh, I... It's, uh... I'm... I'm going through my list, and I don't know if Black Panther's in oh, my top wow. five. Yeah. Okay? That's I'm just shocking. throwing it out there. Uh, it's it's kind of like the more I feel about it. I prefer a little Brazzer myself. So do I. <laughs> I'm extremely entertained. Thank you, Will Cato 13. Where is my bro Anthony from Abel Batista? Anthony had something to do tonight, so he wanted us to hold it down uh, just for tonight. We'll be back. Be he's back. not retired. Yeah, he's not retired. Promise. Yeah. Um, he's the CEO, for God's sake. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, Iron Man. The thing with Iron Man, too, when people are putting it on their list, I don't ever blame them because... It's it's such a good movie, and the fact that that one kicked off is it was the, the genesis reason. of the of the Marvel. If yeah, we never like, had it, yeah, we would not have. If that I didn't agree. go well, I agree. We would not. Just have like that. Star Wars: A New Hope will always be like the best Star Wars. And I think for oh, a lot of Phantom people, Phantom Menace, pretty awesome. See, I'm a I'm an Empire Strikes Back guy. Yeah. Only because for me, I still contend, and if you disagree with me, then that's fine. That the reveal in Empire Strikes Back, spoiler alert, yeah. it's his dad it's his is dad. one of the biggest and greatest reveals of all time. And Agreed. Has been trying to be replicated, and it's really tough to do. And it's still a line after how many years that yeah. like people still use and mock, you know, whatever. Exactly. Like, I'm your father. Like, and and yeah. I mean, people have said it wrong and yeah. right. Uh, Anthony in Las Vegas. <laughs> Sorry, currently having a one night stand, dude. Hey man, it's all good. Hey, the well. fact that you're letting us be a part of it, um, 
do you want me to talk really low into the mic? I can do it for you and set the scene. Um, Is she still in the room? <laughs> <laughs> Would you ever consider reading some of my biography, The Gonzales Chronicles? It contains all of my adventures. I would love to hear some of your adventures, and it depends who you're talking to. If you're talking to me or if you're talking to Nick. I can't read, so I'm assuming it's you. But you taught me to read. Son of a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Anthony in Las Vegas, I'll make sure to be here next time I finally found someone who loves me for a small price of $50. Hey man, $50 is a lot of money to a lot of people. Absolutely. Don't shortchange yourself. Yeah. Um, KF is awesome. Okay, do you think Deadpool 2 would be, would be as good as the first? Nick. No. Me neither. No. Um, I think it'll be fun. I yeah. think it'll be good. But you do have Deadpool. You've got Cable. You've got the X-Force. You've got a little kid in there. Tim Miller, uh, Tim, yeah, Tim Miller is gone. I'm not saying that it's not going to be good, but I don't think it'll be like the first one. In the first one, we didn't know what to expect. Like we knew there was going to be some like, the sarcasm. Obviously, mm -hmm. we knew that was going to be in there, but you don't know what to expect. So when you go in, it's like you know, it's a whole new world, sort of speak, yeah, right? Man. To quote Aladdin. But uh, don't you dare so, close like, your I, eyes. I, know, yes. I won't. I won't. I knew you'd like that one. Yes. But like in this one, we kind of know what we're, what we're expecting. It's going to be very similar, I think. Um, and like obviously the storyline is going to be different, but the character is the character. It's not like it's going to be a big shock, right? We know who Ryan, what Ryan Reynolds is as, as an actor. We know how he's going to portray that character. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's just, I mean, maybe the storyline will be super amazing and will totally throw us off. Yeah. And we're going to be like, oh, geez, yeah, okay, it is better. But, you know, I think the first one was so cool because there was so much hype behind it and, like, you don't know what to expect. And then when he delivered it, you're like, that was amazing. And then it delivered. I don't think you could replicate that. It, it's, it's kind of like that lightning in a bottle type of thing. Yeah. And it's really, and especially for it being the first one, anything after that is almost inherently just going to get worse unless they pull an Empire Strikes Back. And, yeah. Yeah, they really up the stakes, right? It'll pretty be, it'll sure be pretty he's crazy. not Luke Skywalker's dad. Yeah, exactly. Um, Obi-Wan is the best, and I've heard they might do an origin story. I've heard that as well, and I think Ewan McGregor is excited for it. I would buy that. I would go for an Obi-Wan one. Yeah. Um, it'd be, and only the reason is, I would love to see Liam Neeson as Qui-Gon Jinn again. Yeah. I, I, the prequel suck, but Liam Neeson was solid. Yeah. Uh, Shaq Dizzle, any idea who the villain for Spider-Man 2 will be? Uh, they hinted at it at the end. I'm blanking on the guy's name. It's uh, it's not Reptile. Um, the one guy in jail at the end of it, um, when oh. Michael Keaton's character was like, he's like, we, we know yeah, you yeah. know who the Spider-Man is, and he didn't say anything. Um, I really hope they bring Kraven. Oh. Kraven the Hunter yeah. needs to happen. Um, you? Yeah. No clue. No clue. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. I like they've introduced so many characters with the past one. Scorpion. Ones, so. Thank Scorpion. you. Scorpion. Scorpion. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Uh Scorpion would be a badass one. Yeah. Um I still want Craven. He's my number one. Yeah. I'd love to have him there. Um, as long as they don't do what they did with Rhino and turn him into some just Russian knockoff joke oh, that was awful. like they did in Spider-Man 2. Yeah. Um, KF is awesome. I think it'll be like the first, but my brother says it will be better. Hey man, it could very well be. Could we be. have no idea. We're yeah. just basing it off a trailer. Yeah. Scorpion, Scorpion. I was talking about Deadpool. Yep. Scorpion, Mark Gargan. Yep. Okay. Shaq Dizzle. If Kevin Feige ever decided to step away from the MCU, who would be able to replace him and his big shoes? That's a... That's a loaded question. I, I, I don't think anybody can. Yeah. yeah. And the reason is, it goes back to someone... Well, someone talked about Kevin Feige when Vision was first suited up. And how elated, exciting, and he, how he broke down. Like, and he was in tears kind of watching it. When, when uh, things are done by fans, it does show... Ryan Reynolds loved Deadpool. Mm -hmm. Deadpool number one was made with so much passion on a low budget and they made it happen and it was amazing. Yeah. I don't think Kevin Feige can be replaced, but I don't think that's a conversation we have to have because after Avengers 4, the whole landscape's gonna change. Yeah. I think after sure. Avengers 4, Kevin Feige should retire. Like, walk away, yeah. and and if, if Infinity War and Avengers first champion. turn out, retire one of the ultimate world yeah. builders ever. It was off his back and shoulders. I think it'd be incredible. Yeah. Um, you think they'll have the bomb ta the bombastic man in Spider Man? I don't think so. No. <laughs> Tino Macris. Hey, what's happening, buddy? What do you think of the new Deadpool trailer? 
you saw it? I did. Yeah, I, I think it's I think it's good. Like, I mean, I think all the Deadpool trailers are well done. Like uh, the character, I think everybody really loves, and you know, it, it's hard not to like the trailers. I'm just uh, again, the trailer is always supposed to be better than the actual movie, so we'll see how it goes. Yeah. But not always. It's not, mo it's mostly uh, like to get you hyped up, yeah. right? But there are there are a lot of cases, a la Transformers. Where the trailers are infinitely better than movies. I'm please, sorry, please dude. Please don't knock off Jim's pile. I'm sorry, dude. Oh, God. Um, but yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. I mean, you never know. Uh, Basquees, I want either Craven or Mysterio for Spider-Man 2. Mysterio would be good. Mysterio would be so good. That bad. would be good, yeah. Good call, yeah. man. Mysterio would be so awesome mm -hmm. because it'll give you kind of like a more Wizard of Oz type of thing. And I think that'd be really cool to introduce. And you could do so much with that character. Like, Absolutely. I mean, yeah, like I remember him in the like 80s cartoon. Mm -hmm. So to, to bring him now into a more modern era and like the stuff you could do with him, yeah. I think it would be really cool. Yeah, and especially, great call, by the especially way. Especially the character of Mysterio himself, and which almost lended itself better to Jamie Foxx's portrayal in Amazing Spider-Man 2, where mm -hmm. just someone wanting to make it. Yeah. And, and someone on that level. Uh, the Com Shack, you look like Kraven. I think you're talking about me and thank you. Yeah. If you know somebody, tell yeah. them I could look for a job. Um, Spooter Ma Spoodermon Homecoming. What up, Spooter? It's the same guy who changes his name. I know. While everyone was at Homecoming, I was at Homecoming. Interesting. <laughs> Gonna hit the <laughs> sack real, and then go to getting bed? Getting real personal here. <laughs> uh, the Com Shack, I want to see Chameleon and Craven together. That'd be cool. Yeah, Chameleon would be awesome too. From Vasquez, Nomad11235. Thank you for joining. I think Cap slash Nomad is going to die in Avengers 4. So... Nomad thinks that he's gonna make it to Avengers 4. Cap's not gonna die because Captain America turns into Nomad. Um, so I think that'd be really cool. Um, yeah, that'd be pretty interesting. Shaq Dizzle, I feel you. Retire? Wow, damn. I just think more so because after Avengers 4, going back to that, I think after Avengers 4, it's really difficult to, you know, you're either you're gonna die here or live long enough to come become a villain. And not that he's gonna become a villain, but you don't just like uh, Chris Evans said. I want to leave before they kick me out. Mm -hmm. I think I think Feige finishes Avengers four and is just like I've built this thing over 12, 13 years. I don't remember Avengers four is out, and you're welcome. Now yeah. he can move on to other stuff, but I think even from the MCU, this is legacy. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. It, it's it, and it's a it's a legacy. I totally. I don't, I don't know if there's anything out there, anyone out there outside of, let's say, Star Wars, like George Lucas creating Star Wars, that yep. would rival that. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Um, Tino Macris, do you think John Cena has what it takes to become as big a star as The Rock? No. No? How come? No. Uh, I think The Rock is just way more charismatic. His, his comedic timing is a million times better than John Cena's. Okay. Uh, his following is way bigger. Okay. And... Better looking dude. Uh, like, John Cena's oh, not wow, ugly. Right from the hand. Yeah, not ugly or anything. No, I think The Rock is just so genuine. And, like, I don't know if you've ever seen, like, the Total Divas, like, how John Cena acts in real life. Yeah. He's kind of a dick sometimes. And, like. Yeah, he's cocky. Yeah. yeah. But it's kind of like. It's kind of like that caught, like I've seen him in interviews and stuff, and most of the time he's very gracious and he seems like a really cool guy. Yeah. But yeah, he does have that. The I Rock think, is I more playful. He... Like he's he's yeah. he's just very, uh, he's more charismatic. He's more outgoing. He's just and more humble. Like if oh, really? anyone yeah. has the right to be cocky, it's The Rock. And like, don't get me wrong, the guy's got like confidence behind him, but yeah, like, yeah. he's not an arrogant douche. Like That's he's fair. just, I think he's a class act. So I'm gonna say Rock. Agree or disagree? I don't know what you guys think. I'm, but... I'm going to agree with you. Yeah. I don't think he'll ever get to that status. No. And I think because the fact that the idea of the movie star is going to die with The Rock. I don't think we're going to have... Like, Tom Cruise, his stock is slowly going down. And, and like, yeah. he'll release a movie, Tom Cruise in it. Big deal. Yeah. I think a lot of people now are getting wise to the fact that we want to know who's cooking it. We want to know who's like yeah. directing, writing, and all that stuff. So the star itself is kind of done. Uh, Julian Mitchell, five. How's it going? What up? Uh, Shaq Dizzle, I sit here sometimes and think about ideas on how to introduce the F4 and X-Men in the MCU. My first X-Men movie idea is of Children of the Atom. That's ambitious, but yeah. Uh, yeah. I think it'd be really difficult. I think it'll be slower, and I think everything's gonna be after Avengers 4. Um, 
big legacy. Abel Batista. I can't take John Cena serious when he's in a movie. Mm-hmm. I don't disagree with him. Yeah. Uh, Ever honest... since his thugonomics days, yeah. you just no. can't take him seriously. On a scale of 1 to 10, how thick are you? T-H-I-C-C in capitals. You're going to have to break down that acronym because I'm a little bit older than Anthony, so I don't know a lot of the terminology. Yeah, I... uh, the Com Shack. I can't wait to see Bl- Dwayne Johnson play Black Adam. Me too. Yeah. Fast squeeze on the thick scale. Number is 10. Scarlet memes. Cocky Rocky. Shaq Dizzle. Adam Warlock. Nova. Fila. Vela. Cosmo. For Guardian. MP3. AK Volume 3. Uh, yeah, that's... Um, that's... That's getting really cosmic, and it's going to be really tough to do. Um, Adam Warlock, they might actually introduce, because in Guardians 2, they're... Have you seen Guardians 2? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So that golden vessel that they have, Mm -hmm. a lot of people are saying that, yeah, Adam Warlock's in there, and he might actually show up in um, Infinity War. I don't see it happening. Mm -hmm. It's really ballsy, but who knows. Um, Tino Macris, are you guys excited about Super Troopers 2? I never saw the first one. Really? Yeah. Watch the first one. I am not. I think Super Trooper should have stopped at number one. Don't do the sequel. The trailer looks like they're going to try to go really big on a lot of things, and it's not going to land. I think Super Trooper was perfect. Troopers, the first one, was perfect at the time that it was. But I think this one is really just going to be campy. I think it's not going to be as good. And I think we're going to have an Anchor Anchorman 2 situation where... <laughs> It just shouldn't have happened. Yeah. Uh, or Hangover 2. Or, or N3. The 3 for sure. <laughs> like, yeah. that stuff. Uh, Julian Mitchell 15. What the fuck happened to the Inhumans movie? I remember Feige Phase 3 film announcement that Inhumans was in the lineup for 2018. I heard rumors they were supposed to, be, supposed to be in Avengers 4 instead turning into a crappy TV show. Yeah, I don't think anybody was really on board with Inhumans as much, even though Black Bolt is amazing. Like, we're talking about a character that cannot speak. If he speaks, he can tear down an entire building. Um, I think a lot of it had to do with just the way to fit that into everything. Uh, I don't know too much detail, but yeah, I... That's why they went with the TV route and thinking that they could flesh out the characters a little bit more, but I could be wrong. Thick just means how rack you got and how big your butt is. Uh, you have no butt, so you're about a two. I'm about a five to a six. I'm a negative eight. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm open my. Uh, What's that line? I'm a, you have a flat my ass. My whole. Oh. <laughs> like, let's just there's yeah, kids yeah, here. Let's, yeah, just, let's just leave that. Whatever. Um, not sure if you saw my comment about the Fantastic Four earlier. If so, what are your thoughts? Oh shit! I'm so sorry, dude. Um, do you want to redo that? I must have missed it at one point. Um, I think he's talking about Fantastic Four coming back to Marvel in the sense like they're releasing oh, a comic if... book. Oh, okay. Um, and I like it's just it's just coming back to Marvel. I don't think anybody cares at yeah. all, um, at all. So I don't think they will because well, Chris Evans was in Fantastic Four and now plays. No, they like they'll reboot the whole thing. Yeah, like 100 percent they will. Yeah. Uh, I'm just going back, Arturo, just to take a look at uh, where your comment might have been, but maybe I'll go forward if you post it again. Um, but yeah, so Fantastic Four coming back, you know, it's cool, it's fine. They're the first family um, uh, in Marvel. They're yeah. the first, they're babies. So I think it's something that should come back to Marvel. And I really think it needs to take its time so people can actually want a Fantastic Four. However, Great. getting Silver Surfer, Galactus, who I believe is the biggest of all bads, would be amazing to have because that's your next. Like, that, how big, how do you go big? You go Galactus. Um, out of you, Nick and Anthony, who do you think chips more into this whole thing? Are you talking about input? Like in? Are, are you talking about entertain facts? Are you talking? If you're talking entertain facts, that's all Anthony. Yeah. Uh, if you're talking the YouTube, like the F word on YouTube, um, I have taken the reins on most of it, but we still put in a lot of effort together. So it's kind of. I mean, the YouTube thing is kind of 50-50, or I guess divided by the three of us, yeah. while Entertain Fact is strictly Anthony. Yeah. Uh, Shaq Dizzle. And you guys. And you guys, because you guys put in the effort. You guys put um, in the Okay, was about them coming back, but I felt it was a good prep before getting them into the MCU. Yeah, so having them back is the first step of Fox uh, getting back all their characters. I, I think it's more beneficial to them for the ancillary characters that we talked about, your Silver Surfers, Galactuses, and um, there's a lot of other ones. I don't know, there was one um, villain that started with a K, and he was amazing. Um, 
and he was a big bad, and I'm gonna, it's going to come to me after this is done. Um, what can DC do to get their ducks in a row? They, do, they don't need to catch up with Marvel Studios. DC just needs to make better movies, minus Wonder Woman. That was great. Agreed. Yeah. Um, uh, what do they need to do? Hire people that care about the content and aren't worried about, like you said, um, keeping up. Yeah. Because if they do, that's when you drop the ball. Um, we're gonna have to wrap this up, by the way. Sorry, guys. Um, Running out of time. Yeah. We are. I was uh, just this gonna say, cuts like... out before letting us know. So uh, I'm gonna try to run through these. Uh, do you think Marvel canceling the Deadpool FX cartoon was a stupid idea? Yes. Wait until Deadpool two and see what happens. Um, even though I kind of would have been excited for it, I think the movie carries more weight than the show. Nick agreed. Yeah. Uh, Arturo Music Man uh, said that teamwork from Scarlet Memes. Brody Rourke one, hello, hello. Uh, um, and Kevin Feige only added in humans on Phase Three slide because of the of the likes of Paul Mutter. Truth, after the breakup with Feige, reporting the Bob Iger bye bye to the humans. That's very true. Pearl Mutter takes care of the TV stuff. Feige is in care of the movies. They weren't agreeing a lot of things. That was probably the best thing that they ever did was separating. Uh, do you guys think Aqu- Aquaman will be a good movie? I am holding out hope that yeah. it will. Um, and going back to the DC thing, if they just keep their own pace and just produce movies, let it be like the Western. Because right now, we get a Western like Hell or High Water, it's phenomenal. It's great. Uh, let it be like the Western now, the superhero movies are starting to slow back, especially DC, and just do a really good job with that. Um, Flyshy03 underscore, sorry, Flyshy. Guys, DC copied Marvel by using Nazis on Crisis on Earth times because Hydra is Nazis. Uh, yeah, yeah. And, and Marvel decided not to go with the Nazi route and went with the Hydra fully because really it was, it was a very Nazi story, but they didn't want to introduce that, so yeah. But again, they were um, all in that time frame when, when all these things exactly, yeah. started, so you have and to. And even in Captain America, the first yeah. Avenger, he says, Hitler's got this thing, we've got this going on. Mm-hmm. We are, we're looking on a different yeah. thing. Uh, Joel Gons 03, well, same time next week. We're going to put a post out and let you know what the time's going to be. It's going to be, uh, Anthony's going to put one on the Entertain Facts page uh, and letting next you know. Next week it probably won't be on. We won't be on next week? We might do it earlier. Friday, yeah, we might be earlier. But... Maybe, we'll see. Uh, Shaq Deals Live, Hope for Aquaman. Yeah, me too. I think so. Any good movie, any movie that you spend money on, I think it's great mm-hmm. if it's good because you spend money on it and it's worth your time. Uh, Julian Mitchell, five. Me won't personally. be as good as the one in Entourage, but <laughs> I actually would, would really like to see that. Yeah. They won't have it, but yeah. yeah. Uh, me personally, I blame likes of Pearl Mutter. I heard he's very, very difficult to, to work with in the TV vision. Yeah, that's kind of been going around a lot, uh, to um, based on what I've heard. It's, it, that's why the big split happened, too. You, you look at Kevin Feige as a guy that's very collaborative, and Pearl Mutter doesn't seem to be as collaborative. Uh, Gotham XO, hello. Hello, hello and, and that's going to be our probably. good <laughs> Bye. Um, guys, thanks so much for joining. Yeah. This was like awesome. We had 12 people on pretty much the whole time. Uh, Fly Shy 03, do you guys watch Ages of Shield? I do not. Nope. But I heard after the second season it got good, so I might end up going back and just binging a lot of it. Um, yeah, thanks so much for joining us, me and Nick, with our scotch, just the two of us. Uh, you guys helped make this a lot better than we thought because we're yeah. kind of worried Anthony's not here. The boss isn't here, so we want to try to uh, do the best we can. Great um, conversation. It was like, awesome. A lot Dude, of... You guys were you, you guys are Whoever awesome. made the comment about the input, who puts in the most input, it really is you guys, especially on the live show. So Absolutely. Keep, keep coming in, keep talking, keep asking us questions. Yeah, um, go over to YouTube um, on uh, the F Word there. It's in the description on the entertainment facts page um again thank you so much for all of you guys supporting we're close to 500 subscribers which is pretty exciting um and yeah any input you guys have on the videos and what you guys like to see just let us know it'd be really awesome to hear from you just kind of stuff you guys want us to put out fast squeeze bye bye my man fun live stream definitely was thank you man arturo music man have a great night you too shack dizzle guns (laughs) nick g r out joel gons love you too man See you guys. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. And-